Her favourite sports team's colour was blue. And people now are talking about one woman's story, Sahar. She was trying to go to her favourite football team in March, but the football team was a men's game. And that's been controversial in Iran for decades. So she dressed as a man and headed to the game. But at the gates, she was stopped uh, because it was noticed that she was, in fact, a woman. And a couple of days ago, upon hearing that she was facing charges, she set herself alight and has subsequently died. And people now across the world are discussing uh, human rights and women's rights on social media and using this particular hashtag. And that means blue girl, referring to that sports team's colour and referring to Sahar's story. Well, in Iran, the highest female official in the government has weighed in and on social media saying that the Vice President of Women's Affairs has brought this up to the government for governmental discussions. But this has now transcended national boundaries and it's being discussed around the world in the sports sphere as well. At Roma, they're a team in Italy. They have said on Twitter, now it's time for everyone in Iran to be allowed to enjoy football matches together using that same hashtag. And this is a different emblem. You won't be seeing this emblem uh, on the Roma players. That's because this colour here is normally red. They changed it to blue in this social media, uh, social media post. But people are now discussing what is next. Will there be a change? And people are calling on the sports body FIFA, that footballing body, to make changes and to put pressure to, to allow women to go to these games. That's because two years ago, the president of Ruhan, uh, Iran, Rouhani, had told the FIFA president that there would be moves to allow women to attend these games. And people are saying these were empty promises. Uh, this tweet from Amnesty Press, they are saying that FIFA must ensure women are allowed access to all sports stadiums without discrimination or risk of prosecution. Well, this is from a Chelsea football player, a female Chelsea football player. She says that FIFA and any other organisation that's in a position of privilege, you need to act to make this stop. So people discussing one woman's story, but whether policy changes are going to come next, we have to wait.